Well, hello guys. Today we have a Crossroad Zinger. It's a light 270BH. It is uh, still hooked up to the transport truck, so I am jumping on this one right away. Um, does have power tongue jack and power stabilizers. Do you have the, uh, they call that a giggy box, prepped for solar. And uh, here is your pass through. Does have solar prep on it as well. Power stabilizer buttons. There's not too much to show you around the back. I guess I'll take a little walk just in case. Exterior shower, tire, backup camera prep, all that good stuff. A black tank flush right there. Exterior speakers, LED lights underneath it and in the speakers. A little weight tag on here, 6240, so pretty light. I'll get you inside, there's a lot of traffic. There's a big uh, golf event going on at Whistling Straits, so. So overall, pretty clean unit. Um, did a quick walk through turning the lights all on. Some storage setting right there. There is uh, your entertainment system here. Bluetooth uh, sound bar. Some storage up top. Some storage down below. And then uh, you got your slide out. Nice big windows on the side there. U-shaped dinette. <coughs> Centerpiece does fold down in this couch. And then uh, on that same topic, there is storage down below it. That does flip up so you can kind of get there as well. Kind of like a little fake leg type thing. All right, moving around. Right on the right hand side over here, if you can kind of see my finger, you've got uh, USB power. And then uh, over here, double bunks. There is a ladder. It is firmly mounted on here for you to get up. 300 pound uh, weight capacity, so nothing to sneeze at there. USB 110 down below. There is a window on the bottom, not on the top. Uh, the bunks are on the off camp side, so if you guys are up late at night and the kids are trying to sleep, you're not going to be making too much noise to keep them awake over here, and they're not going to be able to look and listen into you. So, kind of a nifty little added feature no one thinks about. Moving into the kitchen, huge 12 volt fridge and freezer. Plenty of stuff there. Don't have the range light on, but three burner stove. You do get the oven. And then uh, your micro up top, and then of course some cabinet storage as well. Lots of countertop space on here. Um, this one, again, has these little yellow stickers on here. It is prepped um, to add an inverter, of course with solar as well, so you can run those particular outlets off of the inverter just on your batteries if you guys decide to go that route. Moving you on into the restroom here. I kind of like how they do this. They get you some shelves over here. You got a little place to put stuff. Well, sink is pretty straightforward. Nice little medicine cabinet. Kind of using up all the available room. Might even sneak something up out there. And then uh, the shower pan, of course, is huge. There's a ton of room in there. They give you the shower surround. And you get the little... Uh, vent above the shower which is in my opinion the perfect place so that way you can get rid of the steam i mean all in all if i'm being picky i mean that's not even bad you just tack that down they didn't caulk it it's not designed to be caulked so um overall fit and finish of the camper is coming in clean i've had a few that are have been challenging but uh this one seems to be pretty much on point Moving into the bedroom, master, you got a sliding door here, a big shelf storage there, hanging. Um, there is no shelf above the bed, which love it or hate it. Some people love it so that way they don't knock their noggin and other people uh, like the extra space it gives them. So a uh, place for a television right over there. It's all prepped and ready to go. You just hang it on the wall. And then of course there's plenty of walking space here as well. I can open this up and show you. 
like you got your sink covers setting down in here and the rest of it's just storage there is a shock here so you uh don't have to try holding it up but other than that pretty straightforward there is 110 power on both sides of the bed that one has a little yellow sticker on it so you've got inverter power uh, this one's got usb right here on the wall so kind of gives you a little bit of both options and then of course i didn't look too much at the top but there is a blue led light up there as well questions comments concerns just let me know email is down below thanks for watching